All right, boys. So basically what I did is I went and um, instead of going into my office and risking um, like for like advancing the plot, I just went to the cargo bay. Yeah, I, I just went to the cargo bay where the recycler and fabricator are like right there and used all of that. And um, basically what I did is I upgraded myself um, a decent amount. Got it quite a few, got a few things. Got rid of a bunch of junk. Kept a bunch of junk. Oh yeah, I need to use these up. Um, I'll use that up in here in just a second. Um, basically, yeah, I got myself a bunch of ammo and a bunch of other stuff. So yeah, um, yeah. So here we go. Let's do this, boys. Tell me again how the decompression happened. It was very sudden. I don't know the specifics, but I had to act quickly. The decompression occurred due to a detonation in the cargo bay. January. I asked Dr. Igwe. Oh, uh, I don't know. Perhaps an explosion or structural damage from the Typhon attack? Which would have originated where? Psychotronics? That is unlikely, Chief Illusion. January, instead of wasting our time interrupting, go check the reployers. All of them. That wouldn't be relevant to my directives. No, thank you. Oh, uh, sounds like things are getting a little heated. Thank you for that. Hope you don't mind. I was using your workstation. I found the right materials for the blue bag. Blows that would uh, otherwise kill you, leave you one health instead. And as well, was able to make several canisters. I also found some food on the way up, left it on the desk. Don't worry, they're alien proof. I checked them, no twitching. To be sure, I let Igwe sample them first. Pardon me? <laughs> I'm joking, Igwe. I wouldn't willingly expose you to aliens or anyone else. That would be inhuman. I feel like I know Alex. There's he something there. Always has a backup plan. He must. She really doesn't like him, and he can't take a joke. Okay. Well, I need to talk to him anyway, so I'll talk to him real quick. It's a strange feeling. I hold Lightner's gift to the world in my hands. He will live on. I wish my wife could have heard him play again. That was brave of you, to recover the connectomes for me. Why I, volunteers? I appreciate it. I appreciate all you and Transtar have done for me. Okay, what did she say about volunteers? I've been trying to see what I can access from here, but most of the systems are locked down. You've been trapped in a simulation for three weeks. Normally, the tests are only a few days long. Three weeks? I thought it said it seemed like it was three years. Has it only been three weeks? Okay, okay, hang on. So I think I still gotta talk to Makila. Oh, I guess I don't. I, okay, so that was it. Damn, that's all it took? I could have just done that and then used my freaking own recycler and fabricate. Oh my god, I'm so. Ah, <sighs> Alright, boys. Let us go and see Alex. See what he's got to say for himself. All right, boys. Let's do this. Morgan, I won't be joining you. You son of a bitch. Don't worry, there's no trick. Just a gift from your big brother. It's the truth, like I promised. It took me a while to dig it up. Someone wanted to hide it from you. My computer, another video. Give it a look, and we'll talk. I'm sending you the password. Assuming you haven't hacked your way in yet. <laughs> Before I give you the key. Go hear Alex out in his office. Watch the video. Well, all right then. Well, it's the family. All right, boys. Oh, all right, boys, let's do this. What's he got for us? Missing key card. 
from Alex Yu to Sarah Salazar. Missing key card. Sarah, you should have tracking down a missing key card. This should be one of your highest priorities. It's labeled EP101. Let me know as soon as you find anything. Alex found it near my division on top of a computer cabinet. Say someone was trying to hide it along with what looks like a bug out bag. Should I be concerned about anything? Is there's it's still there, by the way. Rogue operator. Uh Dr. Yu. I spoke to Lorenzo Calvino and got no response, so bring the matter to you as uh blah blah blah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh this is about the operator that Morgan made. Uh death accent was relevant to describing here. This says an investigation is unnecessary, I believe him. Um oh man, why does it do that? Dr. Yu, an operator falls under his yeah. Um are you certain of this? If the, this operator exists, where would it be? If it's shut down or on standby, it could be anywhere. Do I have permission to begin a search? No subject. Um, Emma Beatty. Alex, you made it my duty to keep everyone on the station in good physical condition. The last time I checked, sir, you were part of everyone in the station. When I count, you've missed the past five scheduled fitness tests. <laughs> if you're uh, uncomfortable with some of the exercises and perform performing them in front of the crew, I can schedule you time in the fitness center where it's time that when it's just the two of us. Remember, uh, you wouldn't just be doing this to help yourself, but to set an example for the whole staff. Thanks so much. Oh, she's a fitness trainer. Results of Morgan Eval from Matthias Cole. Your sibling is indeed different. I've sent the comparisons to you and Bellamy for ele evaluation. As you'll see, there's noticeable personality drift, more than I'd expect from heavy neuromod cycling. Even more prominent because of the duration in which these behavior shifts have developed. As requested, I did not discuss this with Morgan. Interestingly, Morgan seems unaware of these shifts. As an aside, I believe these po uh, this poses interesting questions for other applications of the neuromod. Not solely therapy, but reconditioning. That is a terrifying prospect. Uh, fabrication plan, neuromod. I mean, we've already got it, but you know, I'll just, I'm just gonna, I'll go and click transfer file, you know, just in case. Uh, utilities, LG controls, Morgan, EP 101, rooftop bridge controls. Oh, it's the escape pod. Wait, don't I have. Wait, I need to get a safe. Right? Hang on. Before I watch the video. Is safe. I don't see an obvious safe anywhere. What the hell is that thing? There's a safe. 8420. Because I forgot, this is December. Aggressor amp. Alex is Alex, you sweet. Transcribe. It was December. Search Alex's office safe. Search Alex's room for the net, for the escape pod key. Once things get as bad as they probably are, your only option is to escape. Get the word out about what's happening on Talos One. Alex has a private escape pod. It's locked up. I made a copy of the key and hid it on top of the data tower, near the chair. You know the one I'm talking about. Listen, there's more at stake this time than just us, or this station. If just one of those creatures made it back home, then we're lost. I keep having this dream. I'm just staring into the black between the stars. There's something there. I know there is. I just can't see it. But it sees me. I can feel it. Hate us. I know you know what I'm talking about. Or you will. Soon. Holy shit, that's deep. Okay. So in other words, took it before I give you the key, the keys in the kingdom. Hang on. It was December. Search Alex's room for the escape pod key. Crew quarters. Oh, I really want to go look, but I, I'm not going to go all the way there. Or maybe I should. It's just right down there. Ugh. Oh. Fuck it. We're going to go look real quick. Bear right back, boys.
Oh, that's just irritating. Damn you! You're still alive! Good! We learn to make mines in Ukraine from recycling transtar chunk. Wanted to share knowledge with you. <laughs> Audio output October. Calvino, colleague, won't notice anything wrong. Eidetic memory. Work obsessed. Perfect medical record. No absences. New entry. Show, Danielle. Head of IT. Dislikes you. Dislikes Alex more. Need to find out why. Note to self. Research. Chef Mitchell. And emotive operator hack. Dio Igwe, one of Alex's hires. Cheap to recruit due to his unpopular stance on psychic phenomena. One of the station's best scientists. Introvert. Knows about tests. Loyal to Alex. Believes your brother and Typhon can save his career. Michaela Ilyushin, chief engineer. Not on speaking terms. Had brief relationship. You ended it when tests began. She believes it is because you discovered her medical condition, paraplexus. Convenient, but false. Severing ties seem prudent to you. Less painful, given the impending memory loss. Oh, that fucking sucks. So I knew it. I knew they were in a relationship. Paraplexus. Nerve disorder. Prevents use of neuromods. Requires aggressive drug therapy to prevent degeneration. Renders candidates ineligible for assignment to Talos 1. Sarah Elazar. Chief of security. Not a friend. Knows about the Typhon. Not about your tests, but suspects. Is trustworthy, but doesn't trust Alex. Or you, yet. Damn, okay, so I, I came into my room to find, to, like, just for the hell of it, and yeah, so we just learned some shit. And there are the U's. That is actually such a badass picture, honestly. But it. It also kind of, it's funny because they also look like a mob boss or something. You know, like a mob family. Anyways, all right. Trouble with the illusion. Alex, your chief engineer just sent a flunky, uh, wait, Hans Kelstrup. Uh, Chief Engineer just sent a flunky down here to install upgraded door sensors. Took the sensors and turned the engineer away. Hudson disassembled w one of them and there was something inside. A listening device. What the hell is this about? Recently she tried to request records from Neuromod Division. Volunteer records, Alex. I don't think I can overstate the seriousness of the situation. You need to get a handle on Lucian. Huh. No subject. Alex. You may know what we do to keep everyone at the station. Oh, that's MMBD. Yep. Security footage. And if I need camera footage of Chief of Lucian leaving Morgan's quarters... It either does not exist or it has been deleted. When questioned, we said it was an engineering matter and does not want it filed with human resources. You want uh, to know more? I suggest you speak to Morgan directly. I will follow up on Chief Lucian as ordered. Kayla, follow up. In speaking with uh, Chief Lucian, she admitted to visit cons uh, the visit concerned a medical matter and requested the visit not be misconstrued. Upon your orders, I reminded her again if there was if there has been any change in her relations with Morgan Yu, she would need to notify HR. I consider the matter closed and would prefer such inquiries be left off my duty roster in the future. That's funny. Uh, okay. I've been looking for like 20 minutes, boys. I, I, it's underneath the fucking globe. I hit it multiple times just out of frustration and I'm Glad I fucking did. Just look, look, just the amount of shit that I've thrown everywhere. Okay, okay, okay. Anyways, um, escape Talos One aboard. Hmm. I don't know. Should I escape? I mean, I could save, escape, and then reload. All right, boys. I decided I'm not gonna escape through the escape pod just yet. I want to watch the video first. Okay. Quick save. Alright, boys, let's watch a video. Oh, oops. Oh. 
That's actually really cool. The whole looking glass stuff is amazing. My name is Morgan Yu. Year is 2035. I'm aboard the Talus One research facility. What else? Why are we making this video? Right. <laughs> because my big brother is paranoid. Psychometric data is showing statistically significant variants and personality patterns between trial runs of the new neuromods. Whatever. I feel more like myself than ever. I mean, look at this. We did it, Alex. It's real. Enjoy it while you can, because in a few minutes, it'll all be gone when we strip out the neuromods and we set. I know, including my memory of it. No way around it. Let's talk about the backup. So, the type and organisms have been producing an elaborate structure. Material is unknown, purpose unknown. Now, my gut tells me it's a kind of neural framework, but externalized. Still waiting on analysis to confirm. In the meantime, I've given Alex the design for a device I think could shut it down if it ever broke containment. <laughs> Alex just has to grow a pair and commit. He doesn't have to take all the credit. What if it doesn't work? It'll work. Trust me. What else are we going to do? Blow everything up? That won't save us. And if it does work, is it worth it? The people that come after us will be smarter, stronger, immortal. They can judge us if they want. But they'll know they exist because of the things we did. I'm ready. Do it. So in other words, it was my idea. The whole thing was my idea. Well, there you have it. Everything I've done is what you've asked me to do. I didn't think you'd believe me unless you heard it from your own mouth. The tests, they changed you. Not a lot at first, but eventually, the constant stripping of your memory. I didn't know who you were anymore. All I want is to have my brother back so we can finish what we started. The device you mentioned is an advanced version of the Null Wave. It's the only way to stop the Typhon without destroying everything we've been working toward. We're just missing some scan data from the Carl to complete the design. Help me finish this, Morgan. And then, you can have my arming key. I don't believe you want to use it anymore, but you can have it. I left the chip set for you on my desk. You'll need to upgrade your psychoscope to scan the coral. I'll send you the scan locations. Okay, and get the chipset for scanning coral. So we have an alternative. So we don't have to blow everything up. Coral detector. That was not there a minute ago. <laughs> I could just take the escape pod, boys. Scan the coral on the exterior. Okay. All right, boys. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to save. I'm going to save. We're going to take the escape pod. Watch the escape pod ending. And then I'm going to load. And then we're going to do it the other way. The right way. We're going to scan all of the coral instead of blowing everything up. That's what we're going to do. All right, boys. Let's do this. Watch the escape pod ending. Oh. Alex used tracking bracelet. Oh. Morgan. That video was... I'm still... Checking it against my directives. But if scanning the coral will grant you access to Alex's arming key, then perhaps it's the best course. Perhaps knowing the coral's purpose will reinforce your decision to destroy Talos 1. Just be careful. We're running out of time. That's fair. That is definitely fair. Okay, that's what I'm gonna save. Okay, boys. <sighs> Morgan, don't. I'm only a shallow copy of you, and I know better than to abandon Talos One. If you leave now, you're only delaying the inevitable. Where do you think the Typhon will go next? Make sure the pod doors are sealed and all personnel are on board. Take a seat. Make sure your safety harness are secured. Initialize onboard systems for launch. Remain seated while the guidance system pilot the vessel to its designated rendezvous point. Wait until the vessel has come to complete stop and door is open before removing your safety harness safety restraints. Alright, boys. Morgan, 
I don't understand how you got the launch key to that escape pod. Of all the ways the test could have changed you, this was the last one I expected. You just... quitting. <laughs> I don't have control no more. That's it. I'll give you version three. We fail. This isn't the one. What? Wait, <laughs> wait, what? What? What was that? I can't think. I wish I can't. What? <laughs> what? There's just increasing your throwing strength. Each level. What was that? <laughs> what? Wait. Wait, who was that? What did that say? Oh, what was the name? I'm going to have to look at that whenever I edit. Who was that speaking? What the fuck did I just watch? Wait, so don't tell me this is all bullshit. Don't tell me this is like all a simulation. Am I in a simulation? Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay, boys. Let's go. Uh, let's, let's, let's go. Oh my god. Let's scan all the coral nodes. Try to do this as quick as we can. What the fuck? What was that? This isn't the one. What? Did who who was that other one? It's like I can't, I wish, and then that was it. That was the end of it. What? Michael Gravity. Oh, it. I've been thinking about the video Alex showed you. Your brother believes that version of you is the true Morgan. But why? Just because it came first? If someone had made you, then I suppose your truest self would be the one that fulfills whatever purpose your maker intended. I know who made me, and why. Did someone make you, Morgan? Were you made for something? If not, you'll have to invent your own purpose, or have none at all. Strangely, of all the things I know about you, I don't know what you believe. You have to decide, Morgan. Who are you? Radiation poison. 
poisoning detected. They're afraid. The no. Nothing that interferes with memory formation. Medical detection. Excellent work. All that's left is integrating the data after you upload it. Hard to tell from just a scan summary, but... Wait. What is... There's some kind of neural trip wire built into the coral. Christ. Morgan, get back to my office. We have to get your data uploaded now. Hurry. Here's my terminal to upload the data. I'll get it integrated into the fabrication plan for the new null wave device as fast as possible. And be careful. The Typhoon will begin to sense our intent to harm the coral. They're gonna come after you. Oh, great. something for you on my desk that should help. Okay, boys. Casper intercept protocols in operation. What the fuck? Board of Directors has authorized me to take full command of Talos One, effective immediately. All employees must now report to the Shuttle Bay for evacuation. Those of you unable to comply, transmit an SOS, and my team of rescue operators will locate you. One last thing: Alex and Morgan, you have been relieved of their positions. Do not consent to their requests or assist them in any way. Gal out. Shit, where'd the other one go? Oh, there you are. Fucking great. We go, man. Access Dolls Command Shuttle. Well, that's just fucking great. Well, shit. Alrighty, boys. Well, that's gonna go. I'm gonna go and end it right here for tonight. I'll see you guys. Peace. Bye.